I, I'm the biggest fan of what agents do of anyone that's never been an estate agent. Right? I, I have witnessed the way that great agents can transform people's lives mm. and, and deliver just outstanding results again and again and again. And bizarrely, some of the best ones I've ever known are the worst self-promoters, the worst marketers. Um, that's a wonderful story about one, but I'll come to that in a minute. But so, so these, these three had, um, so the th in my view, if an agent on evaluation or market appraisal appointment doesn't have their own strategy of what they're going to do, it's not the only thing, of course, right? Mm. But it, it means they're already at risk of underselling. Yep. And so that narrative that you often see in the press and places like that about how, oh, well, they just chuck it and write with and wait for an offer is not unfair for a lot of agents. Mm. Now, one of the problems with that, one of the reasons for that, I think, is that fees are too low and fees that agents get do not cover the costs of the full service that agents would actually like to provide. No, I, I, absolutely. And you know, the overheads are there. Um, you, you know, we, we are competing in, in, in this market here with um, one in, in this particular postcode region with a very nice guy who's an, who's an agent that works from his spare room. Right. Yeah. You know, and there's no overheads. No. And so that's fine. You know, he can go out there and completely under sell yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 um, the, the fee. Mm -hmm. And that's where I go back to my point about do you expect to pay the lowest fee or do you want the person that's got the best marketing, you know, like you say, the best marketing strategy and also the facilities that go around that? And, you know, since, since I came in and took over Parker's, massively changed a lot of that marketing. Um, and, yeah, you know, we put it on the portals, we put it in the paper. But ultimately, you know, I, 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 I could show you a brochure of two agents that had a house before us and then our brochure. And I use it. I, I absolutely use that. Because someone's gone along and taken... The, you know, the the worst pictures with a with a with a with a phone, not even with an iPhone. You get some great photos with an iPhone these days, but you know, with a camera that clearly was made in two thousand and two, and it's horrid. And why 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 is someone putting a photograph of the downstairs loo in a brochure? You know, these things are just crazy. And these are this this is a skill and nuance that you understand if you're an experienced agent it makes a massive difference to the interest that you. Generated at the start. Mm. I used to sell. That's what I sold. That started out selling professional photography floor plans to agents. Mm. That's how I got in the, in the business. Um, in the end, actually, so it came down to those three agents. It was between your podcast guests. Mm. Whose name I can't remember. Ben. Ben. Yeah. Give it his company. It wasn't him. It was his company, uh, which she was very impressed with from start to finish, from ringing them the whole way through. She was impressed. Um, and another agent, where just the personal rapport. It, it was. It was. It was a. A girl, also a girl, so the vendor is a girl, the agent was a girl, they were the same generation, they just clicked mm -hmm. and did the whole thing via WhatsApp. Yeah. And, and that agent achieved a price none of them were going to get um, through her strategy in, in, in nine days. Why? 13 viewings, four bids, and she achieved a price that she said, like, I didn't think we'd get that. And, and the, the survey was signed off at that price. Um, and that's always the worry, of yeah. course. Mm. You know, we yeah, sometimes I think, how am I going to get this past a valuer? You know, especially in the last couple of years where things have been, yeah. whoa, 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 and just how is that going to going to how is a valuer going to up, up value that property? Um, but I think I think they are being pragmatic valuers really on that because they know how fast the market. Yeah, going. and the, the interest is genuine. There. It wasn't just one white offer. There were mm. competing bids, exactly. so that means that the market is there. Mm was. I mean, who knows what's going to happen this year, but...